Hey guys, this is Patrick from MusicalLessons.com uh, coming to you today with a guitar lesson on how to play uh, Save the Hammer for the Man by the Night Watchman. Um, everybody knows Tom Morello for his awesome work with Audio Slave and uh, Rage Against the Machine, but a lot of people don't know that he has a lot of really good, like, simple protest music um, that can play, be played really easily on the acoustic or electric guitar, just some simple, basic chords. Uh, and today we're going to show you how to do it. So the first thing we're going to tell you is that in this song, everything is tuned a half step down. So that means that this E becomes a D sharp, the A becomes a G sharp, the uh, D uh, becomes a C sharp, and so on. And so everything will sound the same in context, but uh, things are just a little bit lower than usual. All right, so first things first, let's go through each chord you need to know to play this song. So the first chord is E minor. And for this, with our index and middle, we're going to go to the 5th and 4th strings, play everything open. Then the second chord is A, and so here we have our index middle ring on the 4th, 3rd, and 2nd strings, and you play from the 5th uh, string open. You should get that chord. Then the next chord is D, kind of using our index and middle fingers again. We're going to go to the 1st uh, and 3rd strings on the 2nd fret. And then our ring is going to go to the 2nd string, 3rd um, fret. We're going to play from the 4th string open. Then the next chord is B minor. So if you're trying to learn bar chords, this is going to be a good opportunity for you. We're going to, we're going to bar the entire 2nd fret. And with our ring and pinky, we're going to go to the 3rd uh, and 4th strings on the 4th fret. And then our middle is going to hit that D on that 2nd um, string 3rd fret. And then we're going to not play the 6th string. That's the chord we should get. By the way, if you know a simple A minor, you can just move it up with the bar, and that's good. And then the last chord is very easy. It's G, so middle, index, and then um, middle's on the sixth string, index is on the fifth string, second fret, pinky's on the first string, third fret. You play everything open. Some people like to play it like this, that's fine. Some people like to play it like that. It's kind of more match like a C shape, that's totally fine too. It's totally up to you. All right. So once we know those chords, we're going to go to the intro of the song. The intro is really easy. Kind of using a simple strumming pattern, we're going to go from E minor to an A, and then a quick D, E minor, A. From here, we're going to move on to the verses of the songs, which are very easy as well. So you have a D, and a B minor. A, D, that's the first part, and then the second part goes D, B minor, A, ends with a B minor. So every verse of the song, we're going to do that progression twice, and then now we're going to move on to the chorus of the song, so it's G, to D. A to B minor, now it picks up a little bit, it's G, D, A, B minor, A, B minor. So the, the difference here is that you have the G, two, three, four, four strums on each chord. That's the same here for this next part. Now it's two strums. And then back to four. Alright guys, well thanks so much for tuning in. Um, this has been Patrick from Musica Lessons. Uh, yeah, tune in to our blog for more instructional videos uh, and blogs about music. Thanks.